Hey guys, this is Jeremy from CryptoByte back with another video and today we're going to be looking at Tron. So for those of you who don't know, let's look into what Tron claims to be. So as per their Wikipedia, Tron is a decentralized open cryptocurrency, open source cryptocurrency that was founded by the Tron Foundation. Tron is an application intended to allow content creators to be compensated for sharing their content. Tron incorporates a blockchain based peer to peer technology, which basically means, like any other cryptocurrencies, it is capable of eliminating the middleman. From another aspect, Tron's technology is a distributed storage facility that allows its users to access entertainment content from every part around the world without seeking assistance from Google Play or Apple Store. As a result, the content producers are able to receive funds directly from the consumers quickly. So just from reading this description, we can see that Tron is trying to fix two things. It's trying to make a safe and a secure place for content creators to share their hard work. And it's also trying to make a service much like Google Play Store or an Apple Store where consumers like ourselves can go to one place and get all our content and as a result pay the content creators directly. So let's take a look here at where Tron is sitting at currently. So we can see here that Tron is currently trading at around four and a half US cents and it's got a maximum supply of 100 billion coins. So we can see that if we look at the graph from say this quarter, we can see that January 5th that is when the price skyrocketed to 30 US cents and then it dipped all the way down to 5 cents and now we're sitting at 4.5 cents. So a lot of you might be thinking why on earth are we looking at a coin when it's already seemed to have gone past its peak. So maybe we can get into the specifics of why this dip may have happened. So there's been a lot of commotion going on between the Tron cryptocurrency because there are theories out there saying that the founder of Tron, Justin Sun, has actually sold off all his pre-mined Tron tokens and dumped them for a quick buck. So let's take a look at this website here. This is from the usacommerce.com. So people accused the Tronix founder of selling off his coin supply for a personal profit. More than that, people think he did it at a 6.0 billion sell-off of Tron t coins under a secret wallet. So it turns out that it wasn't actually his wallet, but according to him, a market maker and a private investor who maintains the currency's liquidity. So regardless of whether it was him or not, there was someone high up within the Tron food chain who actually sold off 6 billion Tron coins. So if he sold it at this peak here, if we just take a look in January 5th, when each coin was trading for around 29 cents, they would have made a fairly decent amount of money. And to me, the biggest sign of Tron being a scam is the fact that the white paper itself is plagiarized. And this has been proven. So for those of you who don't know what this means, the white paper itself is basically the first document that the cryptocurrency company must release stating to potential investors what the cryptocurrency stands for, what it's trying to solve and how exactly it works from a fully technical perspective. So as we can read here on again the usacommerce.com, the white paper was plagiarized. A huge scandal rocked this cryptocurrency last month when someone on Twitter pointed out that most parts of the Tronix white paper that should have been original were actually copied from other blockchain projects. So the founder of this crypto coin didn't even deny it. He tried to pick up the pieces by saying some of the translated versions didn't carry over the references that were supposed to have been made. So there we have it. The founder even admitted to the fact that the white paper was plagiarized and to me that is a big telltale sign of a company that may not have the technical or even the managerial proficiency to run a company like Tron. So here we have another paragraph here that I find quite interesting to read out. Sure the project is interesting and there are a lot of talented developers working on the endeavor. 
which is focused on sharing media like the iTunes Store. But unfortunately, the troubles this coin faces mostly come from the top. The founder, Justin Sung, he botched the response to the plagiarism thing and came off as super defensive. So here we have two reasons why Tron can be considered a scam. But let's look into Tron as an actual product. So from dailyhold.com we have an article saying, is Tron a good investment? So here we can find out that Tron is still under development, but it still promises to give artists a place to store, publish and monetize their creations with a solid proof of ownership thanks to the blockchain. So for example, Tron will offer you a place to post a video and use the blockchain to prove it's yours. So this idea sounds like a very, very good concept and I could see it becoming a mainstream idea, especially in a world where many people are making their living online. If people are able to prove that the creation is truly theirs, they will be able to pay a lot more for it. People want to make sure they're getting authentic items, maybe authentic photos from someone you know and trust, someone who's well known for. So I think the idea that Tron has is an amazing idea because just the idea of having a decentral location to make sure that any content you're paying for is from a legitimate owner that you think it's from and it has no chance of being faked is something that would attract both consumers and content creators greatly. So let's get straight to the question at hand. Do I think Tron is a scam? In my opinion, no, because they do have people working on their coins. They do have a team behind it that have been proving that they're working on it. I think the main area where Tron has dropped the ball is from a managerial perspective, especially the social media. So let's jump straight to the question, do I think Tron is a scam or not? And do I think it's a good investment or not? So firstly, I don't believe Tron is a scam. From what I've read, I think Tron has amazing potential to become a decentralized location for content creators and consumers. In my opinion, the only place where Tron is lacking is in the managerial perspective. It seems like they don't really handle accusations and their social media as actively and as efficiently as they should. There have been a lot of speculations and accusations thrown around to Justin Sun claiming that he sold 6 billion tokens, which while we don't know for sure didn't happen at all. He claims it didn't happen and as consumers and investors we just have to believe what he says. My question is even if it wasn't Justin's son it was still someone quite high up on the ladder with Tron and if someone's high up on the ladder and decides to sell 6 billion tokens wouldn't that spark questioning between the investment community as to why someone who's supposed to believe in a project still has some reason to sell 6 billion tokens? Maybe it's for a quick buck Maybe not. Maybe the person saw the price crash coming and wanted to sell all of it so he could buy back at a better price. That's the thing. Nobody knows for sure. But what most people do know is that Tron may be a good buy, but that only depends on if you believe on a future that thrives on getting free entertainment, independent content ownership, fair monetization, and unlimited digital storage, as we can see here. So... The product is set to launch on March 31st and as we can see March 31st is not that long of a time away. We've got about a month and a half till March 31st and right now since the price is sitting at around four and a half cents, in my opinion if you were looking at something to invest in and we're looking at something to put a safe amount of money in, Tron would definitely be a good idea because once they do go live and do release their working product. As soon as we get consumers and content creators on there and start having a use for it, the price does have a good chance of increasing from four and a half cents. Again, if you're thinking about investing, only invest in what you can afford to lose. So I want to know what you guys think. Do you think Tron is a scam or do you think it is a legitimate currency? And can you see a future potential in Tron being used by actual content creators and consumers and replacing mainstream medium sources like the Apple Store, the Google Play Store and even potentially YouTube? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you have anything to add to this video, if I missed anything important, if you have any other proof that this could be a scam or if you have any other proof that this in fact is not a scam. I would love to hear from you. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.